We have talked about bread type and bread formulation and uh, also about the preferences of this type of bread in different countries. Let's mention now a list with the steps that we have to follow for classic bread making procedure. Well, the first one we have to start with the preparation of the floor and auxiliary materials, then preparation and fermentation of dough, second processing of the dough and its second fermentation, baking and factors affecting in bread baking, and maintain the freshness of the bread. Let's see each of these steps more in detail. Preparation of the floor. Well, in this step, the following operations are performed. The process of mixing begins with hydration of the formula ingredients. Uh, during the mixing, uh, the floor is hydrating and this brings about the development of the gluten in dough, which is evidenced as an ascending part of the mixing core. In this point of uh, the mixing, um, the dough becomes more coherent, losing its wet and lumpy appearance and it achieves a point of maximum consistency or minimum mobility. Sewing, well, uh, the floor is generally sewed before using in bread primarily um, for following reason. First one is to array the floor and the second one is to remove coarse particles or other impurities and to make floor more homogeneous. Weighing, the next step is weighing of different ingredients as per formulation. In general, minor ingredients have to be weighed more precisely like uh, salt, sugar, oxidizing adjuncts, uh, which are added in the solution form in the mass. Preparation of auxiliary materials. Let's start with the preparation of the salt. Well, uh, the salt that it is used in bread making process should not contain any magnesium salts because uh, they will give to the dough a bitter taste. Also, this salt will be dissolved in water in the concentration 2.4-2.5% and then added to the dough. If we use this concentration, we will improve the taste and the quality of the top. But uh, if we use um, a, an excessive of this concentration, it will deteriorate the quality of the top and the uh, weakness of the top elasticity. Also, it may reduce its gas forming ability. For the preparation, well, water serves as the main ingredient in the preparation of the dough and it should be potable. The water needed for this preparation is kept in special containers equipped with a volumeter and with a system or electric heating system to heat it to the desired temperature because uh, we know that uh, the temperature is the main indicator in water preparation for dough. Through the heat system of the water, the temperature of the dough may be adjusted. So, the optimal dough temperature is about 30 degrees, but if the water temperature is above 45 degrees, coagulation of floor proteins can occur and consequently inadequate formation of the dough. Also, if the water temperature is below 16 degrees, the dough formation will slow down. Preparation of the yeast. Well, a yeast is a living microorganism uh, which can be affected by many factors like storage practices, dough temperature, pH, etc. One of the factors that may affect seriously uh, the yeast is the temperature. Yeasts are microorganisms that can convert the sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide. They contribute to the flavor and the aroma of the bread through the fermentation process. Several forms of yeast are used in bread making procedure. 
uh, like active dry yeast, instant dry yeast, compressed yeast or cream yeast. The type of yeast used uh, depends on the volume of the product. Home bakers or small retail bakers may use a form of dry yeast since uh, refrigeration is not necessary and uh, the shelf life is fairly long, is almost 2 till 12 uh, months. But uh, the storage life uh, depends on the packaging. Active dry yeast must be rehydrated with water, with warm water. Uh, the temperature is about 40 to 43 degrees uh, for about 10 to 15 minutes before uh, using. For instant dry yeast, also there is no refrigeration uh, needed for storage and uh, they um, will be stored for a year or more due to the packaging or if they are under vacuum. Once the package is opened, it is recommended that it is, uh, it is be used within three days. Uh, instant dry yeast uh, is extremely convenient since it does not have to be hydrated prior uh, they are using. It may be added directly with the other dry ingredients and blended. Compressed yeast is commonly used in retail bake shops as well as in large wholesale bakery production. It can be purchased in many sizes. And the last form of yeast is cream yeast, which is commonly used in wholesale production. Cream yeast is approximately 80% uh, of water. It is del uh, delivered in a refrigerated tank or truck and pumped into a tank on site. The storage life of uh, these yeast is between 10 to 40 days. Preparation of uh, the remedial materials. Some of the remedial materials that we can mention are firstly is the sugar. Well, the main function of the sugar are to provide um, food for the yeast and give a sweet flavor to the finished product.
second step of uh, bread making procedure is the fermentation and preparation of the dough. Well, uh, this uh, preparation is obtained by mixing flour with water, salt, yeast and remedial additives. In this uh, step we can find two different methods that are uh, used in dough preparation. The first one is the direct way, uh, which means that all the flour, water, yeast and salt are processed at the same time. Then uh, the dough is left for fermenting. The second method is the indirect way and initially 30% of the flour and all the yeast quantity is prepared. After the yeast is fermented, the rest of ingredients are added. In general, the first uh, method, the direct way, is used in, um, for example, in pan bread making. But if we talk about some specific type of bread, uh, in general, they use the indirect way. The third step of bread making procedure is second processing of the dough and its second fermentation. Well, uh, second processing of the dough is for two or three minutes in dough maker before completing its fermentation. In general, it is aimed to release the gases formed during fermentation and uh, the dough ventilation. The second processing of the dough revitalizes the yeast cells and makes them capable of continuing the fermentation with greater intensity. But when we talk about poor quality flour doves, they cannot withstand the second process because of their weakness structure and also uh, the gluten skeleton loses its durability and elasticity. As a result, the dove is released and cannot withstand the second fermentation. For these doves, uh, the final operation are cutting, dosing, rounding and forming the dove. Duffing and weighting of the dough is done manually or uh, by mechanical means. Second fermentation of the dough. Well, mechanical dough processing spoils its structure, so it needs to gain the right volume by the second fermentation. The fermentation of the pieces of dough is carried out in separate rooms by checking uh, the following factors like temperature, fermentation time and relative humidity of the air. This because these uh, factors depend on several um, because these uh, depend on some several other factors such as the type of floor, its quality, the amount and the type of yeast, the ways um, the dough is taken, the hardness of dough, bread, assortments, etc. Those dough covered in hard floor or hard dough needs to stay for a long time to ferment. Usually fermentation time is 45 to 55 minutes depending on the bread assortment and the fermentation temperature which is uh, 30 degrees. The relative air humidity in the fermentation chamber should be um, 75 to 85% depending on the moisture content in the dough. The strict application of the fermentation parameters such as time, relative humidity and temperature is of a great technological importance to produce high quality bread. baking process in bread making procedure. Well, there are some factors that affect um, in bread baking. For example, they are water vapor, temperature, time and way of baking, size, form and way of forming bread, hardness of dough, etc. Well, let's see some of them. The presence of the water vapor in the oven ensures normal baking and improves the appearance of the bread. It should be noted that the presence of steam in the oven it is necessary during the baking process. The oven temperature affects the quality and the time of baking. Determination of 
uh, baking temperatures depends on many factors such as weight of bread, quality of floor and dough, oven heating capacity, etc. The size of the bread. Well, heavy weight uh, breads will bake for a longer time because uh, the heat penetrates more slowly inside of them. The time of baking depends on the methods of baking in pan or without pan uh, that might be directly on the, in the oven. Well, uh, baking bread in the pan requires a longer time to bake depending on its size and shape. Well, the shape of the bread, uh, it has been proven that uh, breads with the same weight and texture of the dough but uh, with different shapes are baked in a different times. For example, round breads uh, are baked longer in time compared with those with elongated shapes. Um, and the one other factor that may affect on baking process is the hardness of the dough. Well, at the same conditions, the breads produced with strong dough have a lower moisture content. So, they are baked for a shorter time than those with those that are softer with softer dough, but they have uh, more moisture, and um, these may take a longer time for uh, baking because it needs longer time to evaporate the high moisture content. The last stage of um, bread making procedure is to maintain the freshness of the bread. Well, during the storage a temperature between uh, 15 to 20 degrees for 10 to 12 hours, the bread becomes stale. Staling affects certain organoleptic qualities of the bread. So, the bread becomes stronger and crumbs too much. Crust becomes soft and elastic, and the sweet taste and aroma of baking disappeared gradually. Well, it is thought that the loss of taste and aroma characteristics of fresh bread is a consequence of slow oxidation processes of the main compounds that form the taste and aroma of the bread. Changes uh, that occur during the storage of pulp or crust are of a particular importance in solving the, the problems of preserving fresh bread. Factors affecting the preservation of the bread freshness are floor quality, quantity and quality of gluten, application of technological production regime, storage condition, etc. During the fermentation uh, for bread processing, well, we have uh, many changes, which are classified in physical changes and chemical changes. Well, let's mention some of physical changes. We have uh, increasing in the volume due to the reduction of dioxide carbon. We have increasing in temperature, increasing in the number of the yeast cells, loss of moisture and uh, changes in the consistency of the dough. Well, about chemical changes, we can uh, mention reduction in pH due to the formation of acids like acetic acids because of the yeast activity, formation of maltose sugar by uh, diastasis enzyme acting on starch, and also we have development of dough due to the cessation of bones SS and formation of new groups. Physical changes that may happen during the baking process uh, is oven spring and crust formation. But uh, if we talk about chemical changes during the baking, we can mention the yeast activity, starch, gelatinization, gluten coagulation, enzyme activity, and browning reaction. So, let's make a summary in bread making technology. Well, many different types of bread formulation have been developed so far. The basic recipe for bread making includes wheat flour, yeast, salt and water. And if any of these basic ingredients is missing, the acceptable product cannot be prepared. 
because the other ingredients are known as optional. And uh, the most critical steps of bread making practices are mixing, fermentation and baking. Well, if you want to know uh, or to get more information about the technology of bread making, uh, you can browse one of the literatures that are um, present on the screen. Thank you for your attention.